Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating three possible ways to fix the Windows 10 startup error that says your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. Usually this error comes with a stop code 0xc 00021A or an error code that says inaccessible boot device. You could see this error pop up during system startup, but it could also happen during normal use, like in the case of this laptop. Now, there are several possible reasons for this problem, ranging from software issues like registry changes or incompatible drivers, to hardware issues like loose hard disk connector, I will explain that in a bit, or some other issues with a hardware component you have attached to your PC. In any case, following the suggestions in this video should help you resolve this error and get your PC working fine again. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first, if you're experiencing this error after your laptop has gone through some major vibrations, either in transit or during other physical activities, or some kind of minor fall, then chances are your hard disk connector might have gotten loose. So you might want to check that first before proceeding with the other suggestions in this video. Especially if your error comes with a code that says inaccessible boot device, this suggests the possibility of a loose hard disk connector, so you should check that first. And if you have other hardware components attached to your computer, then you should also check those to ensure they are properly hooked up. But if your error comes with a stop code 0xc000021a, then you should go ahead with the second fix in this video. Here we will be using the Windows Startup Repair tool to try to fix this problem automatically. For that, you will need a bootable USB stick with Windows 10 installation files. If you haven't made one already, you can follow the procedures I showed in this video to do that. I will leave a link in the description section. The first step is to create our Windows 10 USB installation media, which is basically copying the installation files to the USB and configuring the USB to be bootable. Now attach your Windows 10 USB stick and press the power button on your computer to start the process. Using the corresponding function keys or combination of escape and function key, select your boot device to boot from the USB stick. On this initial startup page, select Windows 10 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your platform. Then wait for the installation files to load. On this page, select Next. Then click on Repair your computer. Here select Troubleshoot. As you can see here, it says fix problems that keep Windows from loading. So I will click on that and then select the user account I want to fix. Enter the password. Here I have no password, so I will leave it blank and then hit continue. Then it should start diagnosing your PC and after some time, it starts attempting some repairs. Now, this could take quite some time depending on what you have on your computer and what you are trying to fix. If this continues for an unusual period of time, say 20 to 30 minutes, then you might consider terminating the process and trying some other fix. If it gets successful, you should be able to log back into your computer. The third approach will be to use the registry backup command called regback. What this command does is to replace your registry configuration with the last known good configuration you have on your PC. So basically changing your registry configuration to the configuration of your most recent successful boot up. To do that, you will need to go back to this advanced options screen once again. So you boot from your USB as shown in the previous fix until you get to this page. Here click on the command prompt option. It should open up this command prompt terminal. Here type the letter of the disk drive where you've installed your operating system. Usually it's the drive C, so here I will type C and colon and then hit enter. Now type DIR and hit enter. Here you should find folders like program files, program files x86 together with other folders like users and windows. Now before running the regback command, I will back up the current registry in case I have some need to restore it afterwards. For that I will type the command cd space backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config as shown on the screen and hit enter then type the command md space 
back up and hit enter. Now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup and hit enter. Then wait a bit for the files to be copied. After that, type in CD reg back and hit enter. Then type the command copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and hit enter then type the letter a and hit enter to override all then you can now type exit and hit enter to complete the process it should take you back to this page where you can choose to continue to start up your computer From there, you should boot all the way to your desktop with no more errors. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.